don't know, it was kind of scary. Yeah, it was kind of scary. Brogan Wilson saw the smoke roll across the home he lives in with his mom and sister. I mean, I could, I could definitely see the ashes and the smoke is just so thick, I could even see. Their home is also a petting zoo, so they have a whole lot of animals. The chickens, goats, bunnies, and a big pig are now safe after being moved quickly with flames approaching. I feel a really big sense of relief now getting ahead of it. I couldn't imagine doing this if there was an actual order to evacuate. They are just a few of the 20,000 people who've been told to be ready to leave at a moment's notice because of the fires threatening Fort St. John. I'm actually here with, uh, there's eight of us. Nicole Brody and her family had to leave their homes because of fire. A couple hundred people like her are staying in hotels here in Fort St. John. But definitely very panicked yesterday. The gas station lineups were just crazy. People were honking horns. Everyone's trying to get gas in their vehicles, filling up jerry cans, and the lineups were out onto the road. People are scared. There's, there's crews from across the province that are up. A city spokesperson says some residents might not have been used to seeing these alerts and acted rashly, but he stresses the city has plenty of essential supplies for everyone. And what he's seeing is more of a certain northern spirit. We help out each other. And so we've hosted uh, numerous evacuees over the last decade and, and longer. Um, and hopefully it, it doesn't come to it, but we're sure that uh, if it does, we'll be uh, welcomed into whatever community it is that we evacuate to, if required. The petting zoo saw that firsthand. Our community is absolutely incredible. Um, kind of once you put the word out, people will just show up. We had absolute strangers show up to help us out. But some of the animals were less than enthused about that help. The animals here are pretty good about that, except for the goats. <laughs> they oh, were yeah. tricky. The goats are the trouble ones. <laughs> yeah, to yeah. stuff them in the attack room. <laughs> While the animals are gone, the humans at the zoo are staying put for now, and they hope it stays that way. <laughs> Fire officials are saying the situation here is fluid. They say there are 400 personnel attacking these blazes, but between tomorrow and Thursday, they are expecting hotter temperatures. They say the next steps are to assess the conditions and find out where the crews can get containment on these fires. Liam Britton, CBC News, Fort St. John.